And we're back now with the score all tied up between these Halo heavies trading punches. One to one in stinking carbon all tied up here in this loser's bracket finals. We got game number three coming up for you between these two heavyweights. All right, so Carbon feeling loose, Instinct, they're feeling confident going into this game three. It's a game they really enjoy. King of the Hill on the pit will be played next. Game three, first team to 250 seconds here is going to win the game. Or the team with the most time at the end of 15 minutes, of course. There's going to be two sniper rifles on the map, so we're going to see some awesome sniping. The Rockets, of course, in the middle of the map, and the ever-important Overshield and King of the Hill spawning every two minutes. We're going to be kicking this game off with the lead slayer for Instinct. It is Roy. I just want to say, watching these two teams between the breaks, you know, there's nothing more pleasing to me to see than these, these intense moments. And all these guys are down there smiling. Walsh is keeping his team in it. He's giving that. He gave that three different times to all his teammates in that, in that first break. And all the guys on the one carbon are still just smiling and having a great time out there. This is what Major League Gaming is all about. That's right, Farouk. And of course, Walshy definitely being the true leader there, keeping his team in the game. You saw Lunchbox, he was looking down. Lunchbox had a rough game that last round. He went negative 10, he was getting spawn killed. And every time he went up the purple, there was members from Carbon waiting for him to come up the purples. But, you know, Walshy, he's just telling his team, shake it off, don't worry about it, we got this. And they're going to have to fight strong here because Carbon is playing very well. And they're going to carry a little bit of a swagger, a little bit of momentum after winning that game too. Just for those who don't know, DAP is when you pound fists. Because I know a lot of our folks out there <laughs> might not know what that is, but you should because it's a big, it's a popular display. Boop. Come there on, guys. Learn, little, to, learn to be social. A little fist bump. Learn what a DAP is. Right now we got Naded sniping across the map. Hit a player in the belly. It's 40 to 2 right now. Carbon off to a huge start there, Sundance. They got the opening kill. They got the overshield. They stopped Walshy down low, and then they were able to pick up a huge chunk of time. But right now we have Instinct in the hill while all the fighting was going on over Naded sniper rifle. And Shockway, he's got a sniper rifle of his own shooting across the map, catching Walshy with the kill. Now let's not forget, in the last round, Carbon actually beat Straight Rift in this game type with a huge heads-up play at the end of the game. Everybody spawning, flag spawned behind the hill, able to get Straight Rift out. Uh, you know, so these guys have just you know, had, a, had success on this game type. Uh, Instinct, historically, is very good at this game type, so it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to come down to just, just who gets into a groove and who's able to take this out. Well, right now, Shockwave had a player directly above him, went for the melee. The player didn't see Shockwave, went straight for the hill, but it looks like Shockwave now being spotted. Grenade's coming in after him, staying alive, though, and that is going to spawn his teammates near him because all four members of Instinct are down. This is going to be a huge opportunity for Carbon to set up and get at least a 60-second chunk here, Sundance, because all of Instinct is spawning at the opposite side of the map. Shockwave right now, he is so focused, he is watching the sword bridge. He saw the sniper trails coming and he waited just perfectly waiting for Soviet. But over here on the other side of the map, Soviet was a distraction because they sent Launchbox, Roy, and Walshy all through the dark hallway. And Roy was able to get up behind Nated who is on top of that snipe tower and take him down. Rockets coming up very soon. You gotta love the strategy out of Instinct. You know, that was not an accident. They planned that one. They practiced that one over and over again. Have one distraction on one side of the map, push the other three through the other. But Shockwave, he's gonna get double meleeed. Meanwhile, Captain Anarchy and Nated, they're gonna be waiting for Gosiami and Shockwave to get into position before pushing out. And both are taken down by a rocket. We're jumping on board with Gosiami. Actually, I wanna go to Roy. Roy's got the sniper rifle, and Roy has actually been incredible with it so far this series, Sundance. Catch Roy having shot. a great event, as you said, not, not just the series, but you know, we've, we've got our, our buddy Broderick Shoemaker, Brick, keeping stats and watching games for us, and he called it as Roy having the tournament of his life, going off, coming up huge when his team needs it most. Let's see what he does here with this sniper. Roy making sure no one coming up the runway, no one sneaking in. Meanwhile, Instinct, they got Soviet in the hill just chewing up that time, coming back on Carbon's enormous lead that they opened the game with, and now they're really just down by about 14 seconds here. And Roy doing damage. He's not hitting heads, but he is definitely taking down the shield. 
from the members of Carbon. And now with no more sniper ammo left, he's gonna push in and fight for the hill with the battle rifle. And Instinct, they're doing a better job of controlling the power-ups now with that, after that second hill. They just got the new overshield. Roy flanking all the members of Carbon here. Alpiard one member, and now he's going for Shockwave. Shockwave somehow picking up a kill on Soviet there despite the double team. Roy being that old snake in the mud. Yeah, a little naughty armadillo. Phenomenal. All right, that is a kill in three. Five straight kills for Roy. Now putting shots on Ghost Ayami. Sundance, you got nothing to add to that series? I'm just watching right now. It's, it's interesting to see. Roy was on a speed right there. He's doing everything he needed to. But I'm, I'm pretty impressed with what Walsh is doing as well. He's being really sneaky. He, he's circling around the hill. He had the overshield there. He's very aware of what's going on around him. All right, well, we are going to check out what Walsh is doing, Sonny. Walsh trying to stay alive in the sword. He's taking damage from three different directions here. Somehow staying alive, juke that a player. He thought it, Walsh was going to go towards the sword ramp. Instead, he cut it back behind his teammate's protection. And there, uh, Walsh once again being a distraction, allowing Lunchbox to move in and Ooh. pick up a kill. But now we got a sniper in the hands of Ghost Yami. You got to check him out. He's coming off a big double kill. It's interesting, after all that time, it seemed like Instinct was grabbing a huge chunk of time, but Carbon's still able to maintain that lead. Yeah, Carbon doing a nice job, really just sending guy after guy into the hill, no matter what's going on around the rest of the map, especially for this bottom hill. We've seen it throughout the, the whole weekend, really. Mm -hmm. You know? Great Spawn over here. Our needler? Yep. Nice shot, Waves. Nice shot, Waves. Another guy there, another guy, last guy behind us. Last guy's in the needler, dude, last guy's in the needler. No, there's one, there's training. one training. Go training, go nice training. Nice shot, nice shot Nice one, nice one, nice one. All dead, all dead, all dead. just spawned, watch just spawned. Watch gets her out. 41, 41 is over. He's going for rocks. I got him. Dead, dead. One shot, one shot, one shot in green. One shot in green, one shot. Overshield's our chain. One shot in green, one shot in green. Our chain with overshield. One shot, green. Got him. No shields, no shields. One shot, he's one no shot. No shields and overshield. He's still in No shields, dude. Dude, how did they? No. On your training, still. Dude, how did he still not die? I, I thought guys. you killed him, so I stopped shooting at him, dude. No. Don't stop they shooting until they're fucking dead. Let's go. It's, they picked up sniping their pick, guys. Yeah, so they're, they're, three of them, they're camo. Two of them, camo, including rock guy. And in hell. They have, so, they have rock guys. Well, yeah, they have rock Let's they go training, dude. Yeah. I'm just Gosh, I'm getting hit from training right now. Two on, on training. So I was training right now. They have rock guys. They're training. They're training, charging. No shit, on the chain. They're training, charging. Oh, they're training now. Low under hours? green with the rockets, under green with the rockets still. Yeah, there's Guys, we gotta, we gotta push out someone. Someone, someone go training, someone go, go training. training. Go, go, bro. I'm go, training go. right now, guys. One shot, I'm just training, one shot, I'm training. Guys, come on, come on, one down, one down. We need to get these base controls. Top toe with sniper. Top needles, toe with needles, sniper. Needles, and needles, and needles, and needles, and needles. Chill, chill. Don't worry. Once we get Where's this base, we're fine. Chill out, just fucking yeah, play the yeah. game. You're worrying, Chris. In the I green. Top